Hello everyone. Welcome to our weekly online tutorial so that hopefully you will not get confused or turn assignments in late and get full credit and um, hopefully get marked present for all of the classes every day of the week. So here we go. First, let's look at the weekly um, lesson plan or agenda, I should say. And we're going to look at English first, and then at the very end of the tutorial, I'll take a minute or two and go over the intensive reading assignments for those of you in periods two, four, and six. So you'll notice here with this, first of all, please make sure you do these assignments in their proper order. I've also let you know the approximate time it's going to take you to do these assignments, and it includes a due date. What I'm asking, please, is make sure you do the first assignment on either Tuesday or Wednesday before midnight. The rest of them, if you don't get a chance to do it until Friday or Saturday, you know, that's fine, but try to at least do one of the assignments on Tuesday or Wednesday this week. Feel free to do them earlier than that, I don't think this post will be uploaded until um, Thursday morning or Wednesday after midnight because I need most everyone to have completed the Ed Puzzle, which will only take you 15 minutes, give or take, to watch the end of the Ed, of, to read and listen to the end of the monkey's paw. But I can't open the post until almost everyone has read the end of the monkey's paw through the Ed Puzzle. So feel free to pause the video and take a picture of this lesson plan, but you know on Canvas you can also get all the details and probably better directions as well. So let's take a look at Canvas dashboard, go into English. Um, on the home page that you come to first, if there are any announcements, make sure that you click on the announcements that I've given. And then it also shows my office hours for the week. So make sure you scroll down also in case there's additional information that you may need. But usually once you see the picture, you're good to go. So we'll go into modules. Now this module up here is going to disappear Tuesday because that was three weeks ago. So even those of you that are still turning in assignments late, this one here, that very first week of assignments that the district gave out, um, should be turned in by Tuesday morning at 8 o'clock. Um, if not, I've given you plenty of time. So this one is going to disappear. But as of this tutorial, it's still there. So scroll down, and these will be the assignments that you need to do this week. Really, there's only these three that I just showed you. Um, but this is hopefully where I'm going to embed this tutorial. It should show up here so that you can click it. If not, um, I'm going to send out a remind that will have the title of this YouTube tutorial. But when we go back to modules, okay. So you'll click in here, and it's just going to give you the directions, basically letting you know to read the end of the monkey's paw on Edpuzzle. That's all you have to do once you click in here is get the directions for that. And then after you've done that, when you click into write a discussion post, please, please make sure you read these directions carefully. Read them twice. <laughs> after you've read them and you've written your post, go back and read the directions again to make sure that you didn't forget anything. And then also make sure you take a detailed look at the rubric. A lot of you have been losing points because you've been writing lowercase i's instead of a capital I. You haven't been capitalizing the beginning of a sentence or putting a period at the end. So if you want an A or a B, make sure you're looking at the rubric and following the directions. I've given an example as a test student of what your post should look like. So you might say something like, and we're answering the question, Write the wish exactly how Mr. White should have phrased his second wish for his son to come back to life. 
Now again, you'll read about that when you read the end of the story in the Ed Puzzle. That's why I want you to do that before you do this post. Um, so that it would have turned out exactly how Mrs. White and he wanted it to. So, I think Mr. White should have worded his wish like this. I wish my son Herbert, and then of course you would finish yours, and then I sign it. Posted by Miss Yorks. You can just write your name. You don't have to do posted by, but please include your name at the end. And then after you go back to the dashboard and you come back in later that day or the next day, and you're going to read through a few replies, and you're going to reply to somebody. And so you're going to write that person's name so I know whose wish you're referring to. So you would write John, comma, or Sophie, comma, or Matt, comma, whoever's name you happen to be responding to. Ms. Yorks, I think your wish, and then finish it, be specific, detailed, and then write your name. So you've got the person's name, what you think about their wish, and then your name. And then when you click back up to module, uh, let's see. I clicked out of the whole thing. There we go. I put this as a separate part, but really you're just going to go back to this part to write your reply. But I didn't want anybody to forget it. So when you click into this part, it's just giving you the direction step by step about what your reply should include. But obviously this isn't going to be where you write your reply. So once you read this and you completely understand what your reply should look like, similar to my example, then you'll come back and you'll click back into that discussion post so that you can then read a few different replies and click on reply and so forth. So that's it for English. Again, please make sure you complete at least one of the assignments on Tuesday or Wednesday. The rest of them, feel free to do at your convenience. Okay, if you don't have intensive reading with me, periods two, four, or six, I'll talk with you soon or remind you soon. Intensive reading, here we go. So this week, you guys have it pretty easy. Again, you've got my message to you, office hours, announcements usually will occur. Um, on the English page, since everybody has English with me. So you'll click into Modules and go to This Week. And you've only got three Ed Puzzles. And notice I put the time here. So we've got three minutes. Now you're answering questions, so it might take you three to five, three to five, you know, seven to ten minutes, something like that. So there's really no reason why you can't do at least one of these on Tuesday or Wednesday. That is my expectation, that you do one of the SAT Ed Puzzles in period two, four, or six, so in the intensive reading class, on Tuesday or Wednesday. The other two, feel free to do later that week, whenever, but don't forget to do them to where they get marked um, with an M, because at the end of the week, if they're not done, it will be an M and it will stay an M because you've got plenty of time to do these. You can do these in any order, unlike English where you had to do them in a certain order. If you want to do this seven minute one first, go for it. This one first, just make sure you do all three of them before the end of the week um, and do one of them no later than Tuesday or Wednesday. If you've got any questions, send me a remind